Hartford Hawks basketball with Jen Rosati is brought to you by St. Francis Hospital and Medical Center, Manchester Honda, and Coca-Cola. Welcome in to Harvard Hawks Basketball with Coach Jen Rosati. I'm your host, John Holt. Uh, some of the women working out behind us as uh, we tape the show today. And uh, Jen, a lot has changed since we last spoke into conference play. The holidays behind us. It's been a busy stretch. <laughs> it has been a busy stretch and uh, not quite uh, as fortuitous as we would have liked it to be. But, you know, it sometimes can be a grind to get into conference play. You know, you get excited by new opponents and new places to travel in the non-conference and then you get into conference and everybody's really familiar with you and how you do things and in our case I think sometimes we need a uh, to get through the first round of conference play to see how everybody's going to guard us and you know what they're going to try to take away and uh, we got to do a good job of making better adjustments and you know we're in Christmas break right now so our goal is to have our players behind us working out a lot and watching a lot of film and just making sure that they're doing what they can to make individual improvements so we can get better as a team. And you are doing all you can in terms of tweaking the starting lineup, trying yeah. to find that right combination. It's an ongoing process. It is, it is. And it's, you know, I, I know that we're going to live and die by our junior class and I know that uh, there are times when they don't play well, we struggle to win and to score a lot of points and uh, fortunately, that you know, things have been getting better. Um, but, you know, they, they've got to be the guys that, that you know, understand what it takes to win in the America East and they understand what it takes to guard the other team's best players. And so, you know, between Alex and Daphne and Ruthann and Nakia, you know, we're going to kind of go as they go. And uh, unfortunately, they've had a tough stretch. And so they need to play well for us to win and they need to understand that as juniors, uh, they got to take even on more responsibility than they have in the past. You certainly have taken the opportunity to send them a message, uh, despite the fact they're established players here. And what is your approach with motivational <laughs> techniques? How to motivate your team, get it out of a funk, or get them to respond like you you wanted to? Um, it's it's not always easy, and I think part of coaching is uh, understanding that every player is motivated differently. Every year is different. Every team that you coach is different, and you know trying to find the right buttons and. You know, we've, you know, yelled at them, we've watched film, we've walked out of practice, we've, you know, met as a group and rehash everything and go, you know, go through everybody's goals and expectations and, um, you know, you just got to keep trying different things until you find the one thing that makes it work and, uh, you know, we work pretty hard at that. We know it's not always going to be easy. We know our kids are going to go through tough times and we talk to them a lot about how, um, you know, their life down the road is determined a lot by how they handle adversity and how they handle challenges that are put in front of them and right now they have some big you know challenges in front of them and adversity and I want to see how they face it and I think their character true character and leadership skills are going to come through towards the end of the season with the start in America East, in particular a game like Vermont that we had here yeah. uh, broadcast on CPTV Sports, you, you had the halftime lead yeah. and then it fell apart in the second half. When something like that happens, uh, what, what, what do you walk away with? What, what conclusions or what impressions do you get about your team at that point? Well, you know, obviously it's disappointing to have played the first half the way we wanted to play it and to have that message of prior failures, you know, get through to the kids and this is how we need to do things, this is how we need to play and defend. And then in the second half, a couple mistakes, you know, kind of turns into everybody going in the tank. And we honest, honestly, we just sat down and addressed it. Like we went through the psychology of what happens when you basically start to fail and everybody is, you know, following that negative path and we talked about the feelings that you go through we talked about physically what happens to you we talked about psychologically what's going through your brain how you're feeling the feelings of frustration and then we talked a lot about how do you fix it you know what can we do to prevent x y and z from happening you know who is going to be able to do that for us you know what players need to say the right things and so i think sometimes when you put it on out there in front of them and you let them look at what happened uh, it helps them face that failure, it helps them face that little bit of fear of not playing well and be able to figure out how to do something about it. And I do think having that week of practice after that collapse allowed us to really work out some of those issues. It allowed us to work on things, you know, X's and O's specifically work on things on the floor and we just 
We had more practice time last week after Vermont than we had had since before Harvard. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of long time to go without really good, legitimate practices where you get a chance to work on the things that you really feel like your team needs to work on. There was a stretch of five games in 10 days. Yeah. This, of course, coming off the preseason and the trip to yeah. France. Are you worried at all? There's been a lot of basketball yeah. for these young ladies. I definitely has, you know, crossed my mind numerous times that it's a long season and can we get them to last? You know, can we keep our freshmen focused? Can we keep our sophomores to, imp you know, it continuing to improve? But, you know, the last time we took an overseas trip, it was one of the best seasons we ever had. So there's advantages to it that extra experience, that team bonding, and there's disadvantages to it, like the feeling that you've been playing forever. So I think we had our slump and we had our stretch of really tough performances, and I'm hoping that we've moved forward from that and that it's gonna be a, le a lot brighter stretch the, here on out. A lot ahead on the show. Uh, when we come back, the Manchester Honda player profile and sophomore, Milana Gilbert. Later on, our Coca-Cola top scholar, junior Alex Hall, and of course, another basketball tip from Coach Rosati on the way right here on CPTV Sports.